PPPL has uh, two coupled missions. One is to develop the physics and the engineering science to enable fusion energy for the world. And the second one, which is coupled, is to develop an understanding of plasma physics and to develop its other applications. What makes the subject especially interesting is because it is so broad and interdisciplinary and it weaves into itself many aspects of physics. PPPL has historically played a very important role in plasma science research, going from pretty much the inception of the field. A lot of the foundational work in plasma physics that we take for granted today was developed at PPPL. You therefore see the subject developed in all its diversity in this laboratory that makes this an especially attractive place to pursue uh, plasma research in. Specifically in this lab, we're looking at uh, understanding hydrogen retention in lithium films on molybdenum substrates. And the reason that we're looking at lithium is because, as it turns out, the presence of lithium in several devices has been shown to improve plasma performance. We have several bright graduate students from Princeton University that are here at PPPL working with us daily on some of these surface science issues and other issues with plasma surface interactions. Um, we're also working closely with a diverse team of scientists at Princeton University to resolve some of the major scientific and engineering issues that come up when you try to implement liquid metal plasma facing components in these fusion devices. I was attracted to plasma physics because I wanted to help turn fusion energy into a reality. I liked the idea of being part of a larger mission with the whole global community working together to solve this grand challenge. I've had a, a wonderful experience here at PPPL. I've had the freedom to explore the problems that really interested me. And not only that, but I've been able to travel all over the world and meet with other scientists and collaborate with them in solving these problems. We're pretty thrilled that NSTX is right now undergoing an upgrade. We're in the last year of an approximately three year construction period. This upgrade will boost the physics capability of the experiment by an order of magnitude. NSTX, the National Spherical Taurus Experiment, is an experiment in which we study plasmas in the range of 50 to 100 million degrees to understand how plasmas will behave in a fusion reactor. It's called a spherical torus because although it's a donut, a torus, the hole in the center is very small, so it almost looks like a sphere, an apple with the core cut out. Uh, the advantage of having a, uh, a donut that has a small hole in the center is that it's relatively compact and we can produce plasmas that have very, very high pressure, high densities and temperatures relative to the magnetic field that confines it. And high pressure, the higher the pressure, the more fusion energy one produces. That's what NSTX is and the reason we study plasmas in it are by studying plasmas at high pressure, we can understand better how plasmas will behave in an ultimate fusion energy source. And the design of NSTX is a leading candidate for a very significant next step in fusion energy research in the United States, which will be to build an experiment which would generate fusion energy as an experiment, but fusion energy that would persist for weeks on end. Basically what we're doing with the NSTX as far as uh, trying to make fusion occur and uh, put energy on the grid, is uh, we're basically making the tokamak concept more efficient. The tokamak uh, started um, many years ago, and what we're trying to do is make it more compact, uh, more efficient, using the magnetic field more efficiently, and uh, having the, the system uh, have greater energy confinement, uh, holding the heat better, and uh, more stable. So what we try to do is, is fine-tune the device so that it will be robust but also um, efficient for producing fusion. Many people that work in our uh, field uh, in magnetic confinement fusion uh, devote their entire careers to it because they believe that it's, it's needed, it's a difficult problem, and it, it is a grand challenge problem. And so I, I think that we all hope that we can contribute in our, in our own small way, in our specialties, and in the end, um, there won't be one person that is marked as far as bringing fusion to Earth. Um, but I think we'll all feel um, that we had uh, an important part of, of bring, bringing itself. So.